Hey, our friends, we're gonna draw another cool bird today, right, Chuggers? Yeah! Which one are we drawing? A cardinal! Cool! Alright, Chuggers, you got your marker? Uh huh. Alright, we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. You have a marker, something to draw with. You guys can use, they can use a, a pencil if they don't want to use a marker, right? But why do we use a marker? So we can't erase. Yes, we don't like erasing, we like drawing. Uh-huh. Yes, we do. All right, ready to start? Uh-huh. Okay, first step, we're going to start with our paper vertical because we're going to draw, we're going to draw the bird this way, but we're also going to draw some branches in there, okay? okay? So the first step that we've done with all of our birds is we start with the eye and we're going to be uh, far to the right. Okay, but okay. kind of towards the middle of the paper this way. And we're gonna draw a little circle like that. And we've also always put a little light reflection, a, li a little light reflecting off of his eye by drawing a little circle and then coloring in the rest of his eye. Okay, now the cool part about cardinals is they have a different beak, different shape beak than all of the other birds that we've done. So we're going to draw a V, but it's going to be a lot bigger than all of the other ones we've done. And it's going to be sideways. Good. Okay, and then we're going to draw a curved line that comes down for the top part. And then we're going to draw a straight line coming back for the bottom of his beak. Good, you did it. Okay, and then we'll connect the, the peak of the V to the front of his beak. There we go, we got his mouth in there. That's a lot different shape, huh? Uh -huh. It's a lot thicker. Okay, you ready for the rest of them? Yeah. Okay, let's draw the top of his head and cardinals have messy hair. Kind of like you in the morning. Yeah, and sometimes Austin, he <laughs> yes. had- uh, Crazy hair. Two horns one yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> like a devil. Devil. <laughs> devil boy. Yeah, we have to put uh, about a gallon of water on top of your head each morning, don't we? It's like a calic. Yeah, it's a calic. <laughs> All right, dude, let's keep going. So let's draw the messy part of his hair next, okay? So we'll draw a little zigzag line that kind of comes back down. And we're going to stop kind of above his, above his eye. Good job. Okay, now let's draw his, his back next, okay? So we're going to draw a little line that comes down to finish the back of his head. Good. Now we're going to draw another line that comes curves down. And this is going to be for his wing. Good. And then we're going to come back for the bottom of his wing. So we kind of want, we want to make his wing look pretty thick. So we're going to curve down. And then this is for his little shoulder like that. Good job. Okay, now let's do some of the details on his wing. So we're gonna do, like we've done on some of our other birds, we do a little zigzag line or curved or connected U's. Tons of W's. Good, I like it. Yeah, lots of W's. Then we're gonna make the longer feathers. So we'll connect lines that come out here. Good job, dude, I like it. Okay, now we're gonna draw his belly. So we're gonna come off here. We can come a little line that comes back in for his head, and then that's kind of his neck right there. Then we're gonna curve down for his belly. Curve down, and then we'll back up into his tail. Or his wing, sorry. Baby one. Yes, it's a baby one. It's a cute one. <laughs> I like it, dude. Okay, now let's do the design on his face. And they have this little black mask on their face. So we draw a line that connects from his forehead. And then it comes around his eye, curves down and into his belly. And we're gonna we're not gonna color that in um, until later. Good job, I like it. Okay, now let's do his tail. So we're gonna draw a line that curves into his back. And then another line right next to it, curving into his tail. Mm. 
Good job. And then we'll connect the end of the, those two lines with a little curved line like that. And then we can also do, let's do some more lines here for the details of his feathers. Good, that looks awesome. Okay, now let's do the branch that he's standing on. We'll do a little wave, uh, kind of wavy line. It doesn't have to be too wavy, but we'll just come up from the left side of the paper and then a little higher on the right side. And then we'll do another line right next to that one that, that matches it. Good job. And then we could also, we could go crazy with the, with this branch. We could do some more kind of branches that come off of it and go off the paper. I'll do another one down here. And I'm going to do some that come out this way too. Nice job, dude. It looks awesome. He looks like he's sitting in a tree, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw his legs. So we're going to do two lines, one that comes down over here, and this one I'm going to bend. So I'm going to put a little bend in it like that. Good. And then this one I'm going to draw just kind of straight down to the branch. Good. Okay, long and then legs. we can, yeah, long legs. Then we can put uh, his little talons and just put thick lines that look like they're grabbing the branch. Two of them. Yeah, that's okay. You can do three too. I like it. <laughs> Dude, I just checked and they do have three, three toes on the front. <laughs> so you were right. I was wrong. Glad we checked. All right, dude, let's add some leaves though to our branches, okay? okay. So just so we can color uh, some green in here, it's gonna look really cool if we have some leaves. So we'll put some leaf shapes, and you can put these anywhere. You don't have to put them where I put them. Draw kind of a football shape, and then a line in the middle. Good job, dude. Okay, you ready to color them? Yeah. All right, let's pick out our colors. We got a light brown. We also got this kind of a darker brown, which is called uh, Dark Carmen. And we're using a red, uh, orange, black. We have two greens, a light green and a, and a dark green. We're using Pentel oil pastels. We use them all the time because we like them so much. Mm -hmm. They blend really well and they're a pretty good price. And we'll leave a link to Amazon where our art friends can purchase them at home. Okay? Okay. All right, the first step we're going to do is we're going to color our bird red. <laughs> <laughs> His whole body is red. We're, we're going to do some shading after, but we want to fill him in right now. Okay? okay. Let's do it. Right now. Chuggers, nice job, man. Okay, now, next step is we're going to get our dark brown. And we're going to add some shading to our cardinal's body. So right under here, where his, his wing is, we can do a little drop uh, cast shadow underneath his wing. And then we can also add some shading under his belly. So it looks like the light is coming from the top and shining down on the top of the bird. And then that way, there would be a shadow underneath him, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can just kind of blend his belly in. And then I'm also going to add some shading on his tail, just close to his body like that, and then I'm also gonna add a little bit of shading just where we did the connected U's or the W's on his wing. Good job, okay. Now let's take our black and we'll fill in his mask. Next, let's get our orange and we're gonna do a light layer on top of his beak, but we don't wanna fill it in completely. Leave a little white on the top of his beak so it looks like there's some light shining on it. And then 
we're going to take our red and go back over that so it doesn't look as orange. It looks more red. All right, Kate, now let's do his bran the branches he's sitting on. We're going to use the light brown, and we'll just color in the whole thing. But we can leave a little light uh, on the top of the branch so it looks like there's some light catching the top. So it's shaded, and there's a highlight up there. Okay, next we're going to do the leaves. We're going to use the light green and the dark green, and you can just fill in one of the leaves completely with the light green, and then use the dark green to add some shading. Chuckers, good job, dude. I love how your cardinal turned out. He's super awesome. He looks 3D with the shading, and I really like the contrast of the red with the green. It looks really cool. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. Promise? Yeah. <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your cardinal with us. Be sure to check out some of our other bird videos. We really like doing birds, don't we? Uh -huh. Yes, we do. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye, friends.